Welcome to Print Directly to Local Printers with a Universal Print. Hey, I'm Eric, and one of the exciting new features in Business Central version 18 is the ability to actually print to a printer directly. I know, Nav, Navision, Navigator could do that 30 years ago, but when you move to the cloud, you lose some abilities. And one of the one of the big thing that we lost were the ability, you know, to print directly specifically to a printer uh, on on our local network. And we have gained that functionality again. Um, let me actually show you while I while I talk. So this is a freshly made Business Central version 18 sandbox. And if I go into printer management, we have a new menu option called universal print. And we can go, we can add some printers. We will do that a bit later, but now we can go to universal print portal. And this will take us to the Azure portal. And universal print is a service from Microsoft. It's a paid service, um, you add it to your CSP uh, subscription, and then you gain the ability to print to the cloud and then have the cloud print on your local printer. So in the uh, in the Azure portal on the universal print, as we are now, we can see we can do some things. We can manage printers. Uh, we do not have any printers yet to manage. We can download a connector and we can use some reports. Don't care about that. So if we go to download the connector, we're taken to docs where we get an installer and you run through that installer on, on, on a PC or a server, something in your network, something in your environment that has access to be able to print or print it. They have to have a printer driver installed on it. Um, and after that is installed, you get the universal print connector app. And we can see here that I have two uh, printers on my network, a laser jet and a desk jet. And um, I'll select the jet, desk jet and, and register that one. So now the registration process will run. And sometimes this is a bit finical, at least for me. So uh, the registration might fail and then you can run it again and then it works. Uh, why? I have no idea. Um, after you have installed the connector, you need to do one thing and, and this is this is the thing um so there is a small let me okay you see now it's co it's connected uh it's registered oh sorry not connected so there's a small powershell command the update connector config json feature connector name enable pdf to xps value true which is because by default the this will only print xpf stuff uh, and BC does not print XPS, BC prints PDF. So you run that command, I already ran it on this one, uh, and then you should be ready to the next step. So now that we have a printer registered in the app, we can go back to the portal and we can click on printers. And look and behold, here is our desk jet. We can take a look at this one, and this is my printer. If we go into printer properties, then this is the important part also, and go to printer default, we can see the content type is set to application slash OXPS. You need to set it to PDF. Um, and if PDF does not show up as an option here, then that's because you forgot to run this command. Um, so I will do that and then I'll save. So now that we have the printer, that's the first step. If you, if we look at the menu out here, we have printer and we have printer shares and there's nothing to share. We have the connectors, which is Surface, that's my PC. So what we're gonna do now is that we need to share this. So I select this one and I click on share and just to protect the innocent of our AD, I'm just gonna switch over to my face and I click share and 
I go and I select myself to share to, and I click share, and then I can go back here. And that has been shared. So now if I go and look at printer shares, you can see that the printer's here, and it's ready for action. Okay, so now we need to go back into Business Central. Uh, there is business, business Central. And remember, when we were in here before we selected to go to, uh, to the portal, so now let's simply add all printers. We can also add a specific one, but let's try to add all printers. Welcome to the new print setup preview, apparently. Um, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and this is a subscription, so when I click Next, the next step will add all the printers that are shared with you through the universal print into Business Central. This screen might seem like a uh, it's doing nothing between this the previous screen and this one, but if there is a issue with your subscription, you will get a big red fat error on this page saying that you can't print. Uh, so that's actually what's happening. So I click next. And this will take several minutes, but it's, I've never taken several minutes for me. So that's it, finish. So now you can see that we, under printer management, we now have a printer called my desk yet, send print jobs to this guy. So I can now go, and if you ever seen anything with me where I need to print something, I always end up printing the customer top 10 list. So only one page and it works everywhere. And you see at the top of the repo now, we have a printer selection. We have handled by the browser, which was usually the only thing we could do. Now we have my desk yet. I click on that. I say print. The repo is printing. And this takes a bit of time. I think that's okay. There's a graph and everything on this, uh, on this report. Working on it, working on it. Um, and the print job five has been sent for processing universal print. There you go. So I think we can go in and maybe if you're on headphones or something like you, I don't know if you can hear that, but uh, that's my printer going off. Uh, so the printer is actually running. Uh, we can click on print jobs here and that's the one. Refresh. I don't know why status is paused. It's probably because the printer is doing so. No, it's finished. Um, so hang on a second. Ta-da! So print it directly to my local printer from Business Central uh, using Universal Print. And I think that's pretty cool. Um, let me actually then, so this is printer management. Um, again, this is something that has been in NAV forever, but if you're new to this world, you might not realize how this works. So let's cover it in this video also. So, um, Apart from printer management, we also have printer selector selections. And how does printer selection work? Well, printer selection works the way that you can say that if a user and a, the combination of a user or a report goes to a specific printer, or you can default, so you can say no user, uh, let's do 1305 sales order confirmation, I think. Uh, that one should print on the desk yet. Actually, now while this one is running, let's ask to see if we can register my HP uh, laser also. Um, so I'll just play that. So now we said that any user uh, if you're printing the sales confirmation, you go to the, to the desk yet. Um, I could also say that, well, in case of me and any report, well, also go to the desk yet because that's the only printer we have right now. Or we could go and say that if it's me and I'm printing 
the cells in was well i need to print to the desk yet um so you have the option of setting up how certain reports should go to certain printers uh, and and this is not a new construct at all this is as ancient as nav is but since we kind of got out of the whole automated printing to any printer then a lot of people actually don't know about this functionality uh, anyway that's another video of on for about 10 minutes uh, this is universal print to be honest this is the fifth time I'm trying to record this video, uh, having encountered strange errors that uh, that happens with this. And, and just to prove my point, um, this one failed. And uh, here, do you like to open the event view to see details? And I can open that and uh, let's see if the event viewer will open. Um, it opens here. That's hard to see on the screen. I, oh, hang on, let me switch over. Huh. You didn't see. So what, what happened was that I was still on my face. The registration of my laser yet failed. Uh, and internal server error, something, something, uh, there's no endpoint listening somewhere and the this is still kind of new uh and for the first part of the evening the laser did was the printer that worked and and then for the second part of the evening which is this part because it's getting really late here um the desk jet work and i'm not quite sure if it's just because i'm in my very homish uh, network or what's the reason but but this is it's fair to say that that the preview label is earned uh anyway when it works it works really well it works fast and and reliable i, I did a fair amount of printing here and um i think it's, it's worth to take a look at uh anyway that's it for this video uh no code at all just simply trying to print a report on a printer but uh i find it exciting to get that ability back i uh, i think the overall offering of of the cloud solution is getting more and more complete and this was certainly one of the things that we were missing so with that have a lovely day and i'll see you in the next video take care